It's not good enough just to do research and prove that it can be done. You have to take that into production. And that, again, is where the EOCAP contract's been really good for us. The NASA EOCAP-1 project uh, really got us off the ground to the point where we have a commercially viable service. If you didn't have EOCAP, I don't think you'd have the nature of the contacts with the space industries that are necessary for a small company to make this a successful operation. You've just heard comments from some of NASA's partners in EOCAP, the Earth Observations Commercial Applications Program at John C. Stennis Space Center. But this is just one of several opportunities available through NASA. These individuals represent industry working with NASA to develop commercial space technology applications. NASA offers a variety of partnership programs aimed at building a U.S. remote sensing industry, ready to compete and win in global markets. As a partner with business, NASA can leverage small investments in private enterprise to generate substantial benefits to all society. NASA partnerships are not one-size-fits-all propositions. Each is tailored to the specific needs of the private organization under four main program opportunities. VIP, Visiting Investigator Program, a short-term, low-cost agreement providing firms opportunities for investigating remote sensing and related technologies. The VIP gave us a very inexpensive, very low-risk approach to take a look at something that we absolutely knew very little about. Industry agreements and initiatives. No exchange of funds agreements allowing advanced firms access to NASA facilities and expertise. One thing Lockheed has learned about trying to commercialize uh, government technology is that it's not as easy as it seems. NASA here at Stennis Space Center has helped educate us in terms of understanding just what the customers need and what they don't need. Uh, without their help and assistance, the transition for Lockheed would be much more difficult. Small business innovation research. Opportunities for developing NASA technology with potential commercial applications. The company was founded with a view that there would be a significant component of research at the company, uh, funding from government agencies, grants and contracts. And we were fortunate to start with some SBIR phase one programs and as a result of being involved in those programs at NASA Stennis, we became aware of the EOCAP program. EOCAP, a risk-sharing program fitting the needs of knowledgeable companies engaged in developing new remote sensing products and services. By using digital image processing, we've actually been able to develop new products, products that, in fact, we would not have been able to deliver to our clients before our technological development efforts with NASA. Here is a technology through, uh, through NASA using, using commercial money and a C program to develop technology that can be brought to bear directly, uh, we, we feel, on the, on the ability to, to comply with those regulations. And we think that's one of the real beauties of the EOCAP program. NASA's partners make substantial investments of their own, with the Office of Commercial Earth Observations Programs providing bridges between NASA technology and profitable commercial products and services. Financial and technical support helps offset the risk of bringing new technology to the marketplace. That really is a partnership because we're co-funding this. We're co-funding it at about 60% of the total dollar uh, amount per year, so NASA's funding us at 40%. This is just the right amount to do this project and roll out a product. If we hadn't had EOCAP funding, we wouldn't have been able to do this. EOCAP investment success has been documented using actual data from the EOCAP one, second, and third year performance, the annual gross revenue of the EOCAP projects are projected to average $10 million in seven years. This compares favorably with the fastest growing high technology companies in the U.S. This model illustrates increasing levels of success indicated by reportable innovations, enhanced or new products and services, or the realization of a commercially viable business. Of nine EOCAP-1 projects, four reached the highest measure of success. It's allowed us, as a small business, to grow pretty dramatically. Not that NASA's paid us to grow, but the, the, the small supplement of funds they've given us 
has spurred us in other business areas so that we've been able to grow quite a bit. In addition to the benefits to the private sector, these companies are developing information technology products and services for the effective management and use of our environment and natural resources. I think probably the most compelling issue in land management today is change. How is vegetation change occurring? How is land use change occurring? And the biggest problem we've had has been convincing our clients that you can use satellite imagery to assess change. And what the EOCAP project has been able to give us is the funds to develop proof of concept products that we can take to our clients and say, see, we did it, uh, this is how it's done, and it was a successful product, and here's the product. And then, it w usually, the minute somebody sees that, they buy into it. The far-reaching changes brought about by the Superfund legislation back in 1980 have altered the way we do business, the way we transfer property, the way we sell and deal with facilities, the way we dispose of waste. And we're coming in and trying to meet a need in a given market that uh, allows us to, to make it more efficient, more expeditious, both for the government and Superfund projects, as well as uh, in, uh, in industry and commercial applications. It's allowing us to do it better and at less cost, and therefore uh, the, everyone benefits from that. These are real U.S. companies who are working with NASA to develop new products, processes, or services to expand their growth. Clearly, the EOCAP and other commercial program opportunities make this possible. In supporting commercial programs, Stillness Space Center maintains the Airborne Instrument Test System, known as AITS. AITS is a service to the commercial sector, offering a full range of remote sensing instrumentation. Image processing software. Geographic information systems and data processing facilities. NASA commercial partners work with an innovative staff with extensive experience in developing new remote sensing and GIS products and services. NASA continues to search for efficient ways to work with the private sector. As the commercial program evolves, new partnership agreements will develop, encouraging U.S. industry to take advantage of NASA technology and become more competitive in national and global markets.